Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have an interesting video I wanted to tackle pretty quick. Um, my battery's relatively low, so I'm gonna see if I can get through it before that uh, before that ticking time bomb goes off. But I wanted to talk about tactical knives for a second because I, I just shot the reviews of a couple of tactical knives. Um, I did the Emerson CQC7. I did the CRKT Provoke. Um, and I also did my review of the Microtech Hawk Auto. And all of these would be knives that I would absolutely consider to be in the tactical knife category. Um, I also have on my lap the Microtech Stitch, which I have not done my full review of yet. Um, my first impressions of this knife just went live like yesterday as of when I'm filming this right now, but it's coming soon. Um, just have some more pocket time and cutting to do with it and all that to honor the process. But <sighs> tactical knives are an interesting thing for me. And so something that I find myself saying in videos of tactical knives oftentimes is uh, to keep in mind as a viewer that I'm not usually very into them. <laughs> so I, I try to kind of put that framework up before I oftentimes invariably end up kind of expressing that I don't like them. <laughs> um, there are exceptions though. And so I wanted to talk about, in my opinion, kind of where for my use philosophy and, and the way that I actually enjoy knives and carry them and, and get use out of them, where tactical knives often fall short and why, and where I think their merits actually do lie. So. First, uh, let's actually go backwards. Let's talk about where I think, uh, philosophically, tactical knives are a very good thing. Um, and I'll start by saying that growing up, tactical knives were what I was into. I think that happens a lot for people as they get into knives. Uh, for me, what drew me into knives, not beyond my dad and my brothers and being the youngest of um, a number of children who were into knives and, and weapons in general, um, I, a, a lot of that was passed down. And partially, probably, it helped that they were into tactical knives, that I was really into tactical knives, but I also was just really into like action movies, and, and there's a, an inherent coolness to tactical knives if you're into that kind of stuff. And so I've, I found that as I was growing up, the knives that most interested me and that I most wanted to have in my pocket were almost always very tactical knives. Um, and as I've matured, <laughs> both in life and in the hobby, um, I have found that I just get so much more use, or so much more usability out of knives that are less tactically focused. Now where tactical knives shine is in a tactical environment. And I don't spend a lot of time in a tactical environment, but some people do. For some people, if they're in law enforcement or the military, um, if they're an operator or whatever it is that they do, maybe they're personal security, I don't know. Or maybe they just live in a place where they feel better <laughs> being trained and, and having a, a proper defensive knife in their pocket. Um, tactical knives make a lot more sense for that kind of person. And I have been raised to be um, able and willing and ready to defend myself if I need to. Um, I think being in the US, that's a, a very kind of common thing that many of us share. And so part of me having a knife in my pocket oftentimes is feeling more secure that if I need to use it defensively, um, I should be ready and able to. And I like the idea of keeping a primary in my front right pocket in the same spot every time of at least a certain size and a knife that I'm confident in so that if I need to pull it out for a defensive reason, I'm ready to do so. Now, has that ever happened in my life yet? No. I, a good philosophy of preparedness is not to just be prepared for things that have already happened to you, but to be prepared for things that could happen to you. So it's something that I keep in my mind and I try to be prepared for. And I would like to get more training um, in knife combatives and, and self-defense with an edged weapon. I think that's a great thing and I encourage it and I would probably really enjoy it if I got to kind of get into that world a little bit. But I find that many of the knives that I carry as a primary 
are less focused on being tactical and happen to be pretty good at being tactical from what I can perceive and what I would be confident having in my hand because it's what I'm used to using as a tool which I think could play to my favor. Again, not an expert in any way at any of this. So I'm just kind of talking through my own thoughts here. Um, but yeah, so I, I find that most of the primaries that I select aren't focused on being a tactical knife because every day, every day I cut something with one of my knives. I often also have a secondary on me. Um, and so sometimes I'll cut things with my secondary, sometimes with my primary, and it just depends on the cutting task and which knife I have in which spot and all that. Um, but I find that if I choose a knife based on being really good at the cutting tasks that I actually do all the time, I feel happier. Because when I put a really tactical knife in my pocket, say I put this as a primary in my pocket, and if you watch the review of this, you'll see why I don't want to. <laughs> um, I just... This doesn't check the boxes of what I want my knife to do for me all the time, like so many other knives do. It would be a decision based on preparedness for a statistically uh, rare thing versus... <laughs> carrying a knife based on things I do every single day. This knife can be okay for daily cutting tasks, and I've tested it for a number of my daily cutting tasks, and it's done fine. It's a cutting tool, it works for it. But when I compare it to the knives that I do like carrying as a primary, it pales in comparison. Because the focus of this knife is remarkably different. This knife is designed to cut flesh, human flesh, and its focus is designed for an entirely different realm of cutting tasks than an EDC knife is. And so even though there's invariably going to be some overlap, where like I said, many of my primary EDC folders, I feel I'd be pretty effective with in a self-defense situation if I needed to use one. Um, this would be really effective in a self-defense situation, or at least a lot would argue, many people would argue that it would be, um, but it would be less favorable for cutting normal stuff. So there's there's a trade-off there and a balance that, that needs to be established. And I just find I get the most satisfaction and the most comfort and the most, um, frankly, sense of security when I've got a knife that I trust to do all the jobs I want it to do really well in my pocket. Um, and tactical knives, I just feel, make too many concessions for regular, normal, everyday cutting tasks. Now, like I said, each knife is a different balance, and so some knives are better than others at achieving more overlap. So knives like my Hawk Auto. This knife surprised me drastically, where it's one of those knives that is super ultra tactical. This knife is a tactical knife, but I found for my EDC tasks, it does really well. So I love having this knife in my pocket. If I'm going to the gas station late at night, to put gas in the car and be ready for the next day and whatever it is. Um, I live in a place that's fairly safe, right? But when it's dark outside, times are a little bit turbulent. I feel more confident when it's this knife in my pocket compared to a Spyderco Para 3. And I love the Para 3, but if I need to use my knife for self-defense, you better believe I'm going to pick this one over that one. And so the fact that this one can do so many of my EDC tasks well, and it strikes that balance more effectively than a knife like this, by far in my opinion, makes it so much more compelling to me. Now to other people, that balance, uh, it falls in a different way. Uh, different people have different priorities with their knives. And the last thing I want to do is knock anybody's priorities with their knives because we all live different lives. <laughs> we have different lifestyles and different tasks that we do every day. For me, the knives that I consider really good tools for the tasks that I do may not be even close to adequate for somebody who works in a trade where they use their knife in a very different sense of the word tool every day. For me, it's opening packaging a lot of the time. And if I'm outdoors, I have outdoor folders that feel a little more specific to that. And sometimes those overlap with EDC folders. But I, I like having knives based on the task that I foresee being at hand. Um, and I love finding new knives and new pieces of gear, frankly, that fit 
those different roles and that I can suit my carry to what I'm going to do. Um, but it especially tickles me when I find a knife that is really good at one thing and happens to also be good at other things. So like a good example would be my Koenig Arius is one of, it's my favorite knife that I currently own. And part of why I love it is because it makes an awesome tool for the type of cutting that I do for like daily cutting tasks, right? But it also is a knife that ergonomically, the way it fits in my hand, the way it carries, the way it feels for me, I would feel very confident if I needed to use it in a tactical situation. The likelihood of that happening, again, very low for a person who lives the life I live, but if it were to happen, I'd feel confident in that knife. So it makes me like it as a primary more, because I never want to be in a position where I'm all of a sudden fearful in my environment, and the knife I happen to have on me is one that I wouldn't trust in a situation that would cause me to be fearful. So I guess my whole thing about tactical knives is oftentimes I find the balance is wrong for me. They just don't make sense for my habits and what I look for and want to get out of a knife. But sometimes they do. Sometimes there are tactical knives that I find make great EDC knives for me and get the cutting tasks that I want to get done, done well. Um, but oftentimes they are heavier. <laughs> oftentimes they are more cumbersome to carry. Oftentimes they are thicker in their profile and edge geometry and so they're less slicey and there's a lot of things that are different when you're designing and building a tactical knife compared to designing and building a EDC knife or a gentleman's knife or, or any of that. So I just find that largely tactical knives are some of the ones that are statistically least likely to work well for me. But there are great exceptions and so even though I'm oftentimes resistant towards overly tactical knives, I do find that I'm able to find exceptions that work great. But then there are some, <laughs> this way being one of them, that I just, I would feel less confident having this in my pocket than my Koenig Arius in a defense situation. Part of that is the way the ergos work for me and all of that, and part of it's just my familiarity with that knife versus my lack of familiarity with this knife. But this knife compared to the Arius as an EDC knife, if they're on a scale of 1 to 10, the Arius is like a 9 for me, and this is like a 2. Um, it's just not even close. And so it's <laughs> there, there are tactical knives that I, I think, for my balance, do not strike it well. But everyone is entitled to figure out what that balance is for themselves, and I just thought it would be a good kind of discussion to have to build a, a baseline for those who... <laughs> wonder why oftentimes I'm a little bit critical of tactical knives. It's just that they don't fit for me that well a lot of the time. But sometimes they do. So I've been excited lately to find several that do fit pretty well <laughs> with what I like to do and are also super cool because they're gnarly tactical knives that look awesome and feel super metal. Um, there's a there's a coolness about tactical knives that I still feel to this day, and so I'm constantly intrigued by them, but I'm wary of them. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of thoughts that went in a number of different directions, but hopefully that makes some sense. If you're not used to me rambling, then <laughs> get used to it or don't watch my videos. Those are your options, because I'm not going to stop. I ramble. That's what I do. <clears throat> that was bad. That's what I do. I don't know why my voice cracks sometimes at 28 years old, but here we are talking about tactical knives and my voice is cracking. <laughs> it's late at night. Um, anyways, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it as always. My battery's at 2%, so we made it just in the nick of time. I'm going to go ahead and call this one a done deal. Um, but thank you so much. And let me know in the comments if you find tactical knives do work great for you, or maybe you relate to me and you think they're cool, but they're not always super practical for you. Or yeah, let me know where that balance falls for you. What type of knife is the best type of knife for your actual lifestyle and what you enjoy to carry and use. I'm intrigued to see what more people think about that. Um, and maybe I'll do a, a video kind of laying out each type of knife <laughs> from my collection and, and talking about why I like each for, for certain things. Let me know if you think that would be cool. I don't know. Still rambling here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later.